What's up guys? Welcome to episode two of Road to the Shreds. So uh, we're back here again. I hope you like the last vlog. Um, again, yeah, like I stuffed up that intro for you so I deleted it accidentally, but uh, never mind. We're here now and what we've got here is my morning concoction, pretty much. So first, our carnitine. Boxy Shred. Bang, one scoop of that. Mango, make sure it's mango, guys. Mango tastes unreal. When it tastes good, you get more shredded. Anyway, so, I'll do that. Whoa, little bit of focus there. I'll do that in the mornings, um, as soon as I wake up, pretty much. As you can see, I've just woken up. Um, and then, yeah, I'll, I haven't started cardio yet, but I will end up doing cardio straight after that. I'm not in the fasting or intermittent fasting stage yet. I'll probably start that in the next week or two. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll actually take you guys through that because I'll get a lot of questions on what you should do for fasting or intermittent fasting or whatever. But yeah. <sighs> Fuck. That hair. My hair. And that beard. Fuck. It's going to change. It's going to change. Imagine you could just do this. <laughs> How good's that? So yeah, imagine you could just do your hair, your beard, everything, and it just comes out like that, huh? Fuck, yeah. Anyway, so, just going to Fitness First in the City today, I'm gonna pick up the Mexican again. So that's gonna be his nickname through the vlogs. Even though he's our Salvadorian, I'm gonna call him the Mexican, Pablo. Right, so we're gonna get him, we'll drive into the city, and um, do something a little different. I like that gym, I like the vibe in there. So I'd rather train somewhere with a good vibe because that's gonna give us a good video. So yeah, I'm gonna do a back workout today. So I'm gonna get all my subs, get them ready now. I've, I've kind of fasted. Look at this little, little nugget. <laughs> look at this. What are you doing? Oh, do you look pretty or what? Yeah, bro. Yeah, do ya? Wait, don't get too close. Come back. So like I was saying, I'm gonna go... I've, I've kind of fasted already this morning. Bye, bye, bye. I've kind of fasted already this morning. Um, I'm, I've just been doing like 12 hour fasts right now, which isn't like, which isn't big at all. It's, um, you know, standard. Cause you do consider your sleep and, and this is what a lot of people ask me as well. When I ask them, like clients or whatever, I want you to fast for like 16 hours, they think, fuck, 16 hours, what the fuck? How am I gonna do that? Like, no, 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 well, if you can sleep eight hours, right? Some people sleep like less. I, look, I only sleep about seven hours a night, max. Um, you know, on a good night, I'll get eight hours or something. But um, if you're a person that sleeps, you know, eight to 10 hours and, you know, you want to do an intermittent fast for one day on, on a Saturday if you're not working or something like that. Do it, like use your sleep as that time as fasting as well. So it doesn't mean that you have to be awake 16 hours and you don't eat for that 16 hours while you're awake. If you've slept for eight hours and you wake up, that's already eight hours you've fasted. You probably didn't eat two hours before bed, so that's already 10 hours. And then you get up and literally you only got like six hours. And look, some people can, some people can do that anyway. Like some people do that every day. So that is kind of what I'm doing at the moment, but I'm only doing it over 12 hours. So I'll eat like, like last night was bad. It was a bit of a late one. I ate really close to bed, which usually I like to, when I'm dieting or even when I'm not dieting, when I'm doing a lean bulk or something, try to keep the meals at least two hours before bed. Um, I think it's more important to keep a long period of not eating before bed than a long period after when you wake up. So, because when you wake up, your your body, you want to kickstart the metabolism. You could actually do a fast in a way, like I'm kind of contradicting myself a little bit here, but there's two kinds of methods. You can fast by eating three to four hours before sleep at night. So that'll be your last meal. And then you've got four hours plus your eight hour sleep, which is already 12 hours. And then you can sort of eat when you wake up. 
or you can do it two hours before bed and then fast longer when you wake up. So some people don't have the, the stomach to eat first thing in the morning anyway. So I'm just gonna try sort of two methods. I'm gonna try the four hour one before bed and that's gonna be probably starting next week. And I just wanna see if it brings on the cravings. You know, when you're peckish at night, you're watching TV, all of that, and you're like, fuck feel a bit peckish or want to eat something sweet or whatever I'm gonna try that um, basically this road to the shreds is a little bit of trial and error um, gonna do things I've tried before that I know work but then I'm gonna do a few things that I think might work so you have to do it and it's better me doing it than you doing it um, better me trialing this bullshit and if it doesn't work at least you didn't waste your time I wasted mine so look guys it, it's 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 all about learning about your body, learning about what it can take, what it can't take, what works for it, what makes it lean, what doesn't, you know? And I've been doing this for 10 years now and there's so many things that I've trialed and errored and all of that, like, so, that's so what I thought, I'll do Road to the Shreds for you guys, you know? Like, you can actually see my day, my life, how I, things I do to get lean because um, obviously at the moment I'm not in the best shape is in body fat wise put put on I think a good amount of muscle but that 10 weeks that I had off um, it did hinder my my thickness and my conditioning I think that I'm going to have underneath so look, it doesn't matter now we're here now like I said and you just got to make the best out of what you got so I'm going to get my subs ready, I'm going to have some eggs and some avocado for breakfast and then going to get Pablo, the Mexican, and then yeah, that's it guys, I'll see you all at fitness first. What up, what up? We're just going to do a bit of a pre-workout, that is an expensive shaker, that one. You know those Tupperware and shit, all of that? My missus had like some Tupperware party, because her sister roped her into it, and um, I said, hey, you better get that shaker because I like it. I like that type of blue. It's a good blue. It used to be the spec blue, but then spec turned red. When Pacey sees red, he sees red. Anyway, so we're going to do a bit of a pre workout. Yeah. Nah, it's probably too much water. I don't like a little iron armor. Anyway, so this is what we've got down today. You all know how I like my C4, but that's a weaker version. I'm trying to get off the pre's, you know what I mean? Get off the pre. I am yeah, trying to. There's the 50 eggs, the C4 50 eggs. That's really strong. I guess having two scoops of this is probably like having the 50 eggs. You all know I love my Agmatine and shit. So, Agmatine, Platinum Labs, um, wherever the scooper is. I hate it when this shit happens, man. I, I can't find the scooper. There's that fucking paper shit in there. I'll bet you the scooper's not here. I'm just gonna have to tip it in. Hey, it's not here. Where the fuck's the scooper? Like, why does this happen? Like, Look at this, look where the scooper was. Right at the bottom. Like, I wanna friggin' find it at the bottom. So we'll do, we'll do a scoop and a half of that. It says you can do two scoops, but they're only really small. They're like, they're like one gram a scoop. And then I had my L-carnitine in the morning, right? And then I have it again pre-workout, so it really doesn't matter what brand you get, to be honest. Like, I'm not an advocate for any supplement brand or anything like that. I just, I just go with what I like. Sometimes I go with how how it digests over what the label says. And I found like EHP EHP lab stuff that um. That that really I don't know. It tastes good. It's nice. Obviously, they put a, put a lot of time, effort, and money into their stuff. So, if you notice, I do a lot of the HP Lab stuff. 
just bought a new protein um, superior weight. This tastes really good. It's been going down good as well. It's hydrolyzed, so it digests a lot faster, breaks down better in the body. So I get asked a lot, what protein should I have? You know, at the end of the day, a lot of them are the same, they do the same thing, but some don't digest as well as others. Um, and if you're someone that's intolerant to certain chemicals or foods or whatever, then you've got to look for something that digests well and fast in the body. Uh, that way, you know, obviously your body breaks it down better and you don't get any, you know, runs in the toilet or constipation or anything like that. So they're the things that I look for mainly. Otherwise, it's, it's pretty much all the same. So we'll hit this up. Probably going to just step into Culture Kings on the way through, let the pre-workout kick in. And that's it, guys. We'll see you there. Here, yeah, fitness first. We're going to start off with a lap pull down. Right, so we're going to do about four sets there. We're going to get a bit of a wider grip. Today, we're going to increase the width in our lats for a start. And then we're going to progress into exercises that work more the middle of the back and, and that thickness. So, yeah, let's go. Oh, I haven't been here for a while. Like, it's actually changed a little bit, but it's really good. Like, love the vibe of this gym. Nice, you know, dark walls and actually good lighting for a pump. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, let's hit it. So what Pabs is doing really well here, keeps his elbows tucked in, right? And he's not flaring his elbows out when he pulls down. I see too many times people flare their elbows out. And when you flare your elbows out, for those of you that don't know, the rear delt is there. We don't really want to activate that too much. By him driving his elbows down to the ground, that's going to ensure he really hits the top of the lat right there and coming in. Good pads. Nice.
talk to us about the pre-workout you just had? Uh, was it C4 50X? Nah, you didn't have the 50X. I didn't. Nah, you had the weak shit. Oh, fuck. Bro, it's weak, peaking. Bro. Are you peaking? I'm like, it's just tingles, man. Like, it's not. Like, you know, like, I don't feel energized or anything. It's a bit of L&A tingles. Just, yeah, in my sweats. Yeah. Tingles. You decided to smoke with the big boys, eh, Smokey? You ain't showing me that new essay? Picoto, Moroto, Maceto, Comanato, Sunshotos? Shut up and take a hit. <laughs> Smoke dog, baby. Remember that shit. Been smoking since I was two. <laughs> hey, 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 take it easy, Holmes. I know what I'm doing, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Home said he'll take it easy, eh, sir? <laughs> it's Angel does, Holmes. So I hit it real hard, right? As soon as he said that, I started feeling funny as hell. Next thing I know, I was running down the street in my damn draw. I love it. It's like I got like little like. Like bull ants just biting on me, man. It's like, I, you know, like I want to wash my face, but that's not going to do anything, man. Yeah, yeah. nah, fuck it, it'll go. Yeah. can see guys I'm no way near no way near as shredded as I've previously been 10 weeks off training but 
my plan is to be back where I was in about 12 weeks. I think I can do it in 10 or 12 weeks. I think I can. It's just at the moment, it's hard to see what I've gained because there is a lot of body fat, a lot of water. And yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing here. Close grip lap pull down. Oh, we're going over grip. Pabs is going the more wider option. So he's going neutral in the middle of the handles. I'm gonna go a little bit more on the edge of the handles. Obviously Pabs' span is a lot wider than mine. Smashing that out. Good, and we get those pause reps. What I really like about this machine is it forces you to have perfect form and it really targets the lats. guys is really hit that part of the lap there right we've increased the load on this one you see that split right through by well, him keeping his elbows in it ensures we don't work nothing else but that lap right there bang come on Pabs, let's go hit it brother one more good so we've done Four sets of the other, four sets of the other lap pull down. The machine one there, fight finish with a drop set. This one here, we've done four sets again. I'm going to do one more now. Four sets, but with no drop set on this one. And pretty much on everything I do, it's about four sets. I like to keep the volume high. It's not necessarily as much exercises that I do. It's more, it's more I do like you know four or five exercises on one muscle group we make sure the sets are high so we're getting about 15 to 20 sets you know in any any given session so and the rep range is generally around 8 to 15 so you know it's a lot of volume on one area all right i'm going to do this set then move on to the next exercise all right guys so what we're going to do here is we're going to go V bar lat pull down, right? So we're still going to incorporate lats, but we're going to start progressing to getting that middle back thickness, right? From that, we're going to come over to here. Now we're going to do the with a row row. So take that gym row row. It really gets into the middle of your back. I love it. It's this whole point there and up and beyond that. So we're going to do four sets of this super set. Follow me.
potatoes and all that shit. I love potatoes and and it's a pretty much a staple um, sort of add to my meal for post-workout, sometimes pre-workout, but because today I'm doing predominantly just carbs during and um, post-training. We've got the uh, just a bit of tuna there, spring water, so I didn't have time to cook fish or whatever, and the place I get my barramundi from, um, they don't have barramundi there at the moment, I love my barramundi. Um, so I've just resorted to tuna and potatoes there. Um, and yeah, there's that one. So what I do, if you want to spruce your potatoes up, I, um, I bake them in the oven. So I chop them up, spray, you know, the most minimal amount of, amount of spray and a bit of salt and pepper. So I always use the pink salt. But yeah, that's it. So I'm feeling a little bit flat after that session. Obviously today, today has been the, uh, let's see who this is, hold on, hold on. Dino, Dino. Dino! What are you doing, man? Just recording, mate. Oh, it's just Dino. <clears throat> Cause we've got, um, we've got our goddaughter's christening tomorrow. So it's uh, my, brother's, my brother's daughter. All right, so I've got, some salmon sashimi here that I'm putting in my bowl. Sushi, sushi. Just getting a bit of that in me, and then that's it. I'm gonna watch a bit of the footing, and then I reckon we'll call it a night. I'd say so. That's it, guys. Hope you liked uh, episode two of the Road to the Shreds. And guys, I'll see you all next week. I'm going to start vlogging a lot more. There'll probably be two vlogs a week now, so I'm going to annoy you guys a fair bit. But yeah, make sure you subscribe. Click that subscribe button so you get notifications of when I post a vlog or when I post a YouTube video. And anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.